I work some moves to my right and some moves to my left. Now if you take Marcelo Garcia, he only chokes with one arm, he only guillotines with one arm, he only passes in a certain way, he passes to his right with one particular pass and passes to his left with a set of particular passes. However, if you look at the Mendez brothers, the Mendez pass to the left with the same moves they pass to the right. Are you as comfortable with somebody passing to your left as they are passing to your right? If it's true, then it doesn't matter if the guy does both sides. What matters is if he has one side that's really, really powerful. Because if he's so so on each side, he's never going to pass. Unless you have a weakness. Some grapplers, I'm telling you, I've seen grapplers, if you pass them to your right, they ho they're horrible. They have no defense on their left side. A great example of this, Eddie Bravo in Abu Dhabi. He beats Hoyler Gracie. Then after that, in his next match, he fights Lo Leo Vieira. Leo Vieira decides to pass to the right. He ended up, I think, I can't remember the, the score, but it was like, it was a huge score. And after the fight, after the match, uh, uh, Eddie Bravo, at that time, at that time, he's like, look, I have no left side. I don't know how to defend to my left, excuse me, to his right. There are grapplers that got it. There's one side that's really weak, and if you know that guy has a weak side, just keep passing and passing. Right? So there's some things you have to have on both sides, like regarding. You have to be amazing at regarding on both sides. Obviously, both schools of thought are good. You have to find which one fits best for you. However, if you look at both camps, if we were to weigh both camps, it seems like the camp that stays one-sided has far more champions on that side. Yeah, I just seen it on YouTube, man. Uh, hell, Eddie Bravo gives a, such a detailed description of how to do it. He, he, he breaks down every detail. Uh, there are some, un, some some things that are necessary for MMA you need to know because it's actually a good ground and pound spot, too. It's, if the opponent's resisting the twister, uh, you can just ground and pound them and knock them unconscious from there. So 